So, who's ready for SEMA in Fab Tech? This guy, this guy's ready. Who wants, uh, who wants a little Bibster progress? A little Bibster work. Every Monday's good with some Bibster work. So one of the things I needed to get finished up on the Bibster was the pedal, the gas pedal itself. Um, the way that the tube chassis in that thing was, the pedal mounted outside of the tunnel hoop that I made for the Bibster. Which wasn't a big deal because I'm cramped in space and I kind of wanted that tube to be bigger rather than smaller and I'd figure out the pedal setup and it was actually pretty easy. All I did was just cut out some steel, kind of made a pocket for that thing to sit in and then I'll run the sheet metal for the tunnel into that. Once I had that pocket made, then I just added some steel, some of that same thick sheet steel that I had, kind of top and bottom, kind of make it a little more safer just in case, you know, the flywheel were to give away or clutch or something like that. Um, I actually have some heavy, heavy duty steel in there versus just aluminum. Once that was complete, then I needed to move on to actually the tabs that I was gonna use to mount the aluminum panel that was gonna go in there on the, on the tunnel itself. And unlike the floors, I didn't wanna put strips in there. I actually wanted these to be removable. So decided to use Zeus fasteners. Gonna put a bunch of Zeus fasteners in there. I think I ended up with like five or six of them. Um, that way I can kind of pop that panel on and off if I need to. There's gonna be a lot of stuff that's gonna be running right through that center section. Got hydraulic lines, got coolant lines, got power cables and such. So I wanted to be able to pop those off, kind of get in there and work with it if I needed to. Remove the transmission, I can get to the trans, trans, trans mount, trans mount, yeah, the trans mount. Anyway, being able to remove those panels is gonna make it so much easier on me. I can pop those loose, pop them out, I can get in there and do whatever I need to do, put them right back in there. So I got all the Zeus fasteners in on the side panel on this trans tunnel. Uh, I kind of did it the same way that I did the floor. So on the floor, I just used some spacers like this um, to kind of space this thing off the top. And then just use some flat bar, kind of clamped everything up. 
basically did the same thing for the Zeus fasteners except for the spacer I used was just another thickness of flat bar. What are you doing? So basically, you know, the, the floor I wanted to kind of sit down in there so I need a bigger spacer. On the side panels, I want them to be out flush with the tubing or, or very close. So I figured that would get it. See we. What are you doing? So anyway, got all the juice fasteners in there. So you can kind of see one there, one there, got two up front, one there, one there, and then one on the back, back here. So the idea behind this too was that these, uh, this kind of design that I have in the bead roll, I'm going to continue that up the trans tunnel and I wanted it to be angled. So like this is angled forward, I wanted this to be angled back. Same with this one. And so I wanted to center those bolts up on this part of the panel. So that was why those two are there. Just threw one back here in the back just for kind of to keep it from moving around. And then same thing up front, two up front. So now all I'm gonna do is take some of this uh, RAM board. Did a Friday video on this a while back. It's basically just uh, a thin cardboard. It's thick, it's thicker than what you'd find like poster board, but it's, um, it's still thin enough to work with and I like it. So I'll probably cut a piece of this. I'll kind of take a rough measurement, uh, lay it out on the cardboard, and then kind of start working with that. Uh, figure out the size that I need to cut it, and then I'll also maybe start playing with the design as, as far as the bead rolling goes. Right, guys there you go we're ready for a panel to go back in the bibster so probably after SEMA Fabtech I'll probably start cutting and making uh, an aluminum panel we'll get it bead rolled up we'll get that thing in there and and yeah get rocking on this thing once I have that panel in there and I've kind of got a road map and a game plan of what I want to do I'll go ahead and start on the other side basically make it mimic the driver's side and they will start looking more like a car Hi right, guys, a little bit of work. Actually, it was a lot of work, but a little video, but it's an update. It's an update on the Bibster. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week and next week for SEMA Fabtech. If you're at either one of those, come see me, Fabtech. I'll be in the Fronius booth every morning, all three days. Stop by, we'll burn some. Mm -hmm.